On today's episode of Amanda and Felix East, we're featuring Filipino street food. What's going on, Foodie Ohana? Welcome back to the channel. On today's video, we're taking you guys along with us to the Taste of Kalihi Street Food Festival. And today we are featuring a lot of local food and Filipino food. Featuring over 30 local vendors here in the area of Kalihi. And for that, we brought reinforcements. Ready for the grind. You gotta bring the bond, right? And this is the best way to support a bunch of local businesses here in a small community. <laughs> Got Reese's Bees. <laughs> A lot of familiar faces here, guys. All right, so right now, it doesn't look too crazy. Once again, pro tip, come as soon as they open. Right now, they're open 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. So I guess the plan of attack today is whatever looks good, grab it. All right, guys, so the first dish we got is from a place called Island Fire Grill. They're Fire. known for Island Fire Grill. They're known for their huli huli chicken. And guys, I'm so excited. They ensured me that it's properly huli huli chicken over kiave wood. Look at this bad boy. I skipped the rice and the corn because I just wanted to appreciate the chicken itself. I'm gonna go for the thigh because that's my favorite part. I love my thighs. And it's easy to eat because you can just pick it up like this. Ooh, look how juicy this thing looks. Glistening in the sun, all its juicy glory. All right, first bite of the day, Foodie Ohana. Mmm, oh my God. Very nicely seasoned, not overly salty. The sauce is a soy-based marinade. It's lightly sweet, not too salty. Mmm, this is finger looking good. So it doesn't look like there's any dry rub on here. It's more like a marinade type of seasoning. I just love the smokiness of that kiave wood. You can tell it's been roasting nice and slow. I actually taste some ginger. It tastes like maple or something. Right, we got a lot more food coming your way, Foodie Hana. Stay tuned. I see some vendors that we know Devon is gonna like and she's standing in line for us at another spot. So we're gonna be getting her some street food. We got our barbecue meat skewers in. Hello. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh yeah, no problem. Thank you guys. While Devon was waiting in the long line for our third spot, the second spot we went to, one of Devon's favorite things to eat here at street food fairs, the <gasps> beloved barbecue skewers. Ooh, don't oh look my good. goodness. Oh, I'm excited! Yay! I'm this, excited! This is from a place called Nyam Nyam Grill or Nyam Nyam Barbecue. Let me know if I'm saying that wrong. They are known for their marinated barbecue meats and then topped off with their barbecue sauce. It is glistening, it is charred, it is divine looking. I can't wait. I Which one do you want to try first? I got one of each protein they have. I got, oh, is pork? Is this pork? Yeah. Ooh, I'll get so, the pork one. The pork is a crowd favorite. I'll just try Ooh. the, uh, I'll try the chicken one. The chicken looks good. Ooh, it's they're classic. Very, very nice and sticky. I can tell already it's going to be gooey gooey goodness. Ooh. Cheers. Oh yeah. Mmm. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very local style flavors. It's more of the acidic type of barbecue sauce. Very sweet ending though. Love the char. The first thing I tasted was a sauce mixed with the char. So you know, if you ever get your barbecue and you complain that they didn't grill it enough, no. This, this is like the perfect grill. It tastes so delicious. Oh, just look at the sauce. Like the first thing that hits your mouth is that sweet sauce. I just love the natural flavor of pork. If you're into more of your barbecue saucy, sweet sauce too, mm, this is it. And I love that the chicken isn't overly cooked and tough. It's still moist on the inside. Very tender. It's like barbecue meat morsels. Ooh. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Gotta go with the pork. It's so fatty, delicious. Oh, that, that's ours. Mm -hmm. They call my number for the next spot. Okay. Thank you. All right, the next spot is here, guys. So the other two proteins I got, barbecue shrimp and a barbecue hot dog. Which one? I'm guessing you're gonna go for the hot dog. Yeah, probably. All right, I'll <laughs> go for the shrimp. weakness. So this is their take on the shrimp on the bobby. Ooh, you definitely gotta go for the shrimp. I think they finish off with some lemon because I taste that 
sourness. Also some salt and pepper too. The shrimp is very different from the other proteins. It's not just the same barbecue sauce on. I definitely, definitely recommend the shrimp. This one was interesting. Again, when I took a first bite, I thought this was a sweet sausage. You get that first kick of sweetness as soon as you take a bite into it. But then, as I kept chewing, I realized it's just a regular hot dog. So honestly, the, the best thing about this place, I would say, is their sweet barbecue sauce. Oh, I, I got tricked. I thought this was like a sweet hot dog because it was really good. I like it. Now, Amanda's been patiently waiting to try the next dish. Stay tuned. Oh my goodness, you guys. This is my plate. Oh my God, my mouth is literally watering, but this is my plate. Everything I love in here is in here. Patelle stew, we got the garlic shrimp, we got gandule rice, we got some potato crab salad, and you can see all the olives. That's like my favorite thing in the world. I don't think I'm sharing this plate with Felix and Yvonne. What? No! <laughs> First off, let's try this patella stew. Look at that big piece of meat. Cheers. Mm. We've gone over what a patella is for a while, but it's a Puerto Rican kind of tamale-ish type of thing. But this is the stew version. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, it's so nice and thick. You can see the red oil. So much flavor. The patella stew has a nice tomatoey flavor. It's very, very meaty as well. I taste a hint of spices. I just love how meaty it is. I love the flavor of the patella. Nice and thick. Everything you could want. And all of the olives. This is my plate. Mm. Oh! First casualty of the day. Next, we're going for the gandule rice. I see a lot of spices in here. There's some olives, beans. Look how red the rice is. Cheers. Mm. Mm. Oh, wow. There's actually meat in here. I think it's pork. I just love how you can get so much flavor just from the rice. It doesn't overpower the patella stew, but it's definitely super duper flavorful. I'm gonna go in for this garlic shrimp. Oh my goodness. And the garlic shrimp here is a little bit battered. In the batter, I see some spices. I'm not sure what the spice blend is, but it's also covered in garlic. Mm. Oh my God. Mm. It retains its crisp and the garlic is within the batter. I thought the garlic was just gonna be on top of the shrimp. Within the batter of the garlic shrimp, you can taste the garlic. It's not just covered on top, it's within the batter. It's so flavorful. I gotta go in for this potato crab mac or just crab salad. You can see the imitation crab, the big chunks of the potato. This is one of my most favorite things to get in a plate lunch. So I'm so glad they have it in my perfect plate. This is why I say this is my perfect plate. Cheers. Mm, slightly sweet, nice and creamy. Oh man, that imitation crab. It's not super bland, it's very flavorful. I love the hint of sweetness. It definitely balances everything out. It has a nice cooling effect, especially with all of this onolicious patella goodness. I got a halo halo from a place called Nami Eats. This is actually their only second pop-up. And because we are getting Filipino street food today, of course I had to get a halo halo. They made it in-house right there. The ube sauce is just all over my hand, but I'm not mad about it. I saw them putting the halo halo mix on the bottom here. And then there's an ice cream. There was shaved ice. There was a ube syrup, more shaved ice and then a ube drizzle on the top. I was feeling very thirsty after our, you know, hardcore grinds today. So from main squeeze lemonade, I saw a lot of people walking around with these really colorful drinks. So, you know, it's such a hot day. This is like, sounds so delicious. So I went over to the main squeeze lemonade and I got the XO, which is strawberry and guava, but they have other flavors as well, like lemonade, green apple. So really interesting, oh, and watermelon. So really interesting flavors. We learned from our subscribers that halo halo means to mix so we're gonna go ahead and mix it up Ooh, it's gonna overflow if I keep mixing it but oh wow do you see all of that let's go for it Mm, super sweet, super strong ube flavor. You got all of the toppings for halo halo. You got the shaved ice, you got the bean. I love the palm seed. I think it's called the palm seed. Nata de coco. Mm. Mm, I love it. 
what I really like about this is it's not super sour. My thing is when I drink lemonade, I'm more on the sweet end than the sour end. If it's too sour, I kind of don't drink it too much, which is why I usually like the slush, but this is just a regular drink version. But if you're like a strawberry lemonade kind of person where you're more on the sweet side than sour side, this is it. This XO, oh, it's to die for. It's really, really good too right now on a hot day. I love it. How much is it? What is it? Mm. This one is $12, but look how big the container is. You better eat that fast, girl. It's already like melting. Whew. All right, guys, we're battling the sun at the same time battling the lines. This was also at Nami where Amanda got her hollow hollow. They also do fried specialty goods. We got three fried imitation crab wontons. She was nice enough to throw in a banana lumpia for dessert. And we got a empanada lumpia. Oh my gosh, look at the heft of this bad boy. Holy. Wow, that's huge. Look at the girth. So along with the lumpia, of course, got to have the vinegar dipping sauce on the side. So I'm going to try the crab one first. Oh, okay. I think this piece I had, it opened up so the crab filling fell out. Oh no. So this wouldn't be fair to try. Let me try a different one. Okay, this one looks like it's still intact. Let's give this one a try. Oh, okay. Mm, much, much better. It's a crispy wonton wrapper filled with cream cheese imitation crab concoction. What's there not to like? These are poppable, addicting. They're three pieces for $8. Very dangerous, very addicting. So usually the Filipino empanadas is that big orange triangle or big pocket. This is in the form of a lumpia. Mm. Whoa. Holy cow, this thing is stuff. Let's break down the ingredients list on here. I see cabbage, pork, egg yolk. Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff in here. But it is indeed your Filipino empanado stuffing. Very savory. All it needs is a little bit of that vinegar sauce. Mm. Definitely need the vinegar sauce to give it that nice acidity, sour, garlicky goodness. If you guys are a fan of fried foods, this is fried food heaven right here. And of course, you gotta have the banana lumpia, right? When you're trying fried foods. Ooh, that crunch. Oh, I can't beat a banana lumpia. By far my favorite out of the bunch here. Very simple, banana, cinnamon, sugar, wrapped in a lumpia wrapper perfection. Mm. All right, that was a lot of food, guys. I think we're about done here. I mean, we'd love to eat some more, but what in the... Oh my goodness. Just when we thought we were done, Yvonne comes in clutch with more awesome grinds. What is that, Yvonne? Got ourselves a smash burger and some shoestring fries. Can't say no to burger. <laughs> It's my weakness, y'all. Even though I know you guys filmed some videos without me, I'm not right. happy about that. These are from the Munchie Machine. They're more of a catering service. Basically, if you like their foods and you wouldn't mind having it where they make it in bulk for like your events, this is a place. So if you're like, for example, craving burgers for your birthday party or for, you know, a dance or whatever it is. This is a shaggy burger. It is only one single patty smashed and then it is with cheese and it's Terry burger flavored. So that's what caught my eye because I am a big fan of Terry um, Terry burgers, right? So that's why I'm excited to see what this taste is like. I think this was $8. This one was $8. So in total, I paid uh, $13. Mm. Terry sauce is really good in this. It is reminiscent of like if you just barbecue your own burger. But what I do like about it is the sauce and the cheese that is melted on the burger. If you like that kind of local style or home style, just barbecuing your own burgers at home, this is that kind of flavor. It's very like nostalgic for me. I like it. Yeah, I'm gonna try the shoestring fries. According to Yvonne's math, this should be $4. <laughs> about. Um, a little apprehensive because it's pretty lightweight. I mean, it's very skinny. These are kind of like reminiscent of your picnic chips. Let me try it alone without anything first. Very thin, very crispy. And Navon did mention it comes with a homemade sauce. They call it simply a dab sauce. So I'm gonna dab my fry into the dab sauce. Ooh, it looks like a really thick type of sauce. 
Honey mustard sauce. That's what it tastes like. It's like a very sweet honey mustard. Very crispy fry guy. It's like pretty much like shoestring potato chips. Let me try the burger. Mm. Okay, I see what Devon means. It's like a terry cheeseburger with cheese and the dab sauce on there. I do wish you could order in a double or choose the amount of patties you want. Devon did mention you can only get it as a single, mm -hmm. which is unfortunate because I always eat my burgers double. The bread is a very is more on the thicker side, so if you have the two, I think it would be a better balance of a bread to meat ratio. Oh wow, so colorful. Thank you. Sama Sama is a Filipino-inspired boba coffee truck and Sama Sama means to be like together or togetherness. Hello, hello, Sama Sama. It means to mix it all together. <laughs> I think. I don't know. <laughs> Let me know. <laughs> as you can see, the party is still bumping back there, guys. Devon is still getting more food as we speak. But we're taking a little beverage break here at Sama Sama. I needed a little afternoon pick-me-up, so I got their Barocco iced coffee. Barocco meaning strong in Filipino, just like is myself. Or Barocco? Morocco. I got a calamansi tea with pandan jelly on the bottom. You see that nice greenness? I think this doesn't taste that strong. Because <laughs> the straw is cracked. So All the way down? <laughs> yeah. <coughs> it looks like a man, the straw has a fracture in it. <coughs> we'll be back. So my coffee, it, it tastes like your standard iced coffee with almond milk. I got a almond milk and a hint of sweetness. Is it strong? I, I guess because I'm Vietnamese, I'm used to the very strong Vietnamese coffee. So this is, um, I guess, baraki. I don't know, what is, how, what is the middle of baraco? So this calamansi tea is so nice and sour, very sweet. It's not super duper sour that I'm used to. Used to more of a sour calamansi tea. The pandan jelly is kind of like, it's like bits. I thought it was like more stringy or more thicker like boba, but it's actually, yeah, kind like of Like bigger more, chunks? Yeah, I thought it was going to be bigger chunks, but it's actually small chunks. So it's a little hard to drink, but flavor is delicious. And it's definitely needed on this very hot, hot day. Of course, the pond is coming back with yet again more food. Oh, goodness. Oh my gosh. What is this? Got the Wailua barbecue skewers. Every time I see them, I gotta get it. I gotta go. Foodie Ohana, that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. We featured some amazing, awesome Filipino grinds, local vendors, the whole nine yards. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We had so many Filipino street food, so many local vendors. And of course, a big mahalo to all the subscribers and friends we ran into today. You guys are amazing. We wouldn't be here without you guys, so big mahalo to you guys. If you guys like this kind of video, please give it a big thumbs up. It really helps us out. Hit that subscribe button down below. It's completely free. It's the easiest way to support us, and we'll see you guys on the next video. All right, Foodie Ohana, until the next one, Explore your inner foodie, street food market vendors. Eat those local grinds, Foodie Johanna. Nice to see you guys again. Woo! All right, peace out, guys. Bye. Mm. Mm. <laughs> this is from a place called. This is from a. What is this place called? Yum, yum. Oh, yeah. Palm fruit? Palm fruit. Oh, oh I lost one. Very, very girthy. Holy cow. Um, okay, please hold the innuendos to yourself, if you, know you're, if you know what I mean. They said don't look into the camera when you're eating that. No, don't. I got it, I got it. Whatever amount of touches spills, so I'm uh, trying to be careful. Sorry, I can't math right now. Okay. Dab as in D-A-B, as in uh, like this. Dab. As you can see, the party... Look at, just look at my hair. Just look at your shirt. <laughs> it's like a painter's shirt. That just means that the food was that delicious. My shirt wanted some food too. Okay, ready? Oh, I, I put mine in already because I'm oh, holding the camera. Oh no, my straw just like cracked. Oh yeah. What the heck? Ooh. Okay, cheers. Oh, I can't even get it. The straw's not working. <laughs> what happened? <coughs> Wrong windpipe? Aspirated? <coughs> Came back oh.
I just got run over. And, uh, I gotta go. I mean, like, I just take it home. This man just really wants to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Focus. I got nine left.